Apple is not only working on iOS 18 betas, but they're also working on iOS 18.1. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at everything new in iOS 18.1 on your iPhone. The biggest new feature coming to iOS 18 has to be Apple Intelligence and for some reason Apple is not going to be releasing this with the initial release of iOS 18, however we are going to be seeing it in iOS 18.1 and we actually have the beta out for this right now so I'm actually running on iOS 18.1 beta 2 as of recording this video and you can see Apple Intelligence is available on your device right now. Now there is some limitation so I'm here in Canada so I cannot actually access this from where I am. Now there are some more around so if you were to change your region into the United States then you will have the option to use Apple intelligence but there's also some limitations on that if you have an Apple ID that's associated with a different region it's automatically going to keep you back in that region so you have to just sign out of your Apple IDs and switch the regions in order to get Apple intelligence working on your device right now if you're not in the United States. As we get more updates, more regions should be available and as soon as something is available here in Canada, I'll definitely be making a video on that so make sure you're subscribed for that. One of the biggest redesigns that we're getting in iOS 18 is the Photos app and I've had the iOS 18 Photos app for a while now and it was kind of confusing when you had to swipe between different sections but with iOS 18.1, Apple is fixing that and it's going to be on this one uniform page where you can just scroll down to see other information. Um, you also have the option to customize and reorder different settings as you wish to see it so i have it customized in this way but it is a different look for the photos application and it's going to definitely take some little getting used to because it is completely redesigned from the previous versions of photos safari is getting a new high distraction feature so if you go into the safari application and you're browsing the web and you happen to see some distracting materials like ads for example so if i'm on this website right now and i scroll down and i see an ad and you want to hide that you actually have the option to do so with ios 18.1 there's going to be a little tab at the bottom beside the URL and you're now going to get this option to hide distracting items. Once you have that selected, you can select on the distracting item and there's going to have this nice little animation whenever you make it disappear and you can just do this for different type of contents that's available on the website that you don't want to see. So that's pretty cool. It can improve your productivity if you're on a website and you're completely getting bombarded with ads or something like that, then you can just hide those distracting items and it should just vanish with a nice little animation. Next, I've already talked talked about the new control center in earlier videos for iOS 18 and has been completely redesigned on how you can customize it and how you can use it. Now one of the biggest drawbacks from that update was there was a lack of a dedicated button for Bluetooth. You always have to go into this little widget and access the Bluetooth. But now with iOS 18.1, Apple finally added the option to have Bluetooth as a standalone icon. So you can just have that as a dedicated Bluetooth icon. So you can just click on it by just swiping down on the control center and accessing the Bluetooth directly from there without having to go into another widget and just have extra steps added it makes it a lot easier finally using the Bluetooth in Control Center. One of my favorite new changes in iOS 18 has to be the dark icons. I'm personally a huge fan of it. I like to use it on my device most of the times. I personally don't find the tint option to be the best one. I personally just like the dark icons. Now, the only problem that I had in the beta versions was that some of the app icons in the notification center or the spotlight search would be just a regular app icon and it wouldn't be the darkened version. But now in iOS 18.1 beta 2, Apple has finally fixed that bug and it's going to be synchronized across the system so it's going to be a lot more uniform and finally we're getting a minor little change in the music application previously we used to have the browse tab in the apple music which was a second icon on the dock but now it's going to be rebranded to new so you can discover new music in that tab which is just a slight little change i haven't seen too many changes in apple music but once i see more changes i'll have a dedicated video on that so make sure you're subscribed for that and that wraps it up for this video if you guys did like this video make sure to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe down below and i'll see you guys in the next one peace